So here we are guys, back on the ranch. <laughs> There's the property line. They put the they put the nylon up for the property. So I can see where my line is. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is the property line. So that's one good news. Um, storage is locked, so that's good. Check on things here. Everything looks good. Check valve is in. That means the... Uh, so here's a close look at our um, plumbing. For the uh, pressure tank. My plumber's a great guy. All my workers are great. So, looks like we did get some rain here, so that's good news, I think. Looks like we did. Starting to fill some of this in, so that's good. Looks like Sammy did a... Did he do any jackhammering over here? No. Maybe, a little bit. So here is my kitchen. Wow. So this is how this is how they uh, fill in all the little spider cracks. I have a great great painter. This is epoxy. Um, skim coat is not enough. The cracks will come back. So when this thing is done, you won't even notice that stuff. Wow! Look at this place. It's starting to shape up, huh? It's starting to really come to life. Okay, so here is the bathroom. Looks really nice. I'm really happy. The vanity, we custom made, put it here, and then there'll be a mirror, and then your light on the top. There's also gonna be two lights on the top here. But how about that? Looks fantastic. Excellent job. Excellent. You got a real bathroom, huh? Isn't that nice? All the, neg all the negativity about the bathroom came out unbelievable. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit as so. well. Floors aren't in yet. Look at that. They did a great job, these guys. Really did a good job. Huh? So there'll be a glass. There'll be a glass uh, door here. Uh, to, the shower here is very small. This is just, you know, this, we have our own showers, obviously, in our, in our main bed, bedrooms. This is just an addition, additional one. So it wasn't meant to be anything other than nice. Window is all nice and sealed up. I'm happy. I'm happy with the windows. I'm happy with the tile. I'm happy with the way this came out. It looks fantastic. It's really, really sharp, sharp looking. Huh? Wait till the floors go in. Uh, then wait till the sliding barn door goes here. So this is uh, just the kitchen, guys. And it's getting there. We got a lot of, still a little bit of work to do on the ceiling. Uh, the doors, I think they started sanding them. I'm not really sure. I have to check them. Yeah, they started sanding this. I can tell by the way it feels. But it's, but it's still got a long way to go. I mean, you can still see the pencil lines. So they couldn't have sanded it that much. Yeah, that one's not even close to being sanded. On it. So 
So I'm gonna have to have these guys do a little bit more sanding. Because they're doing it, they're not getting the grain out. They're just doing, they're using a very light paper. I need the first sanding to be a little bit darker. Wow, our chickens are so big. Shit. Not looking too good. Tomato plants. It's really hard to keep up if you're not here 24 seven. So, uh, that's the villa. This is what's been updated here, the uh, hollow block. And then there's gonna be wood panels here. This right here will be all wood. Uh, it's gonna, this stuff right here has to be, this has to be planed and sanded. Once that's done, these planks will go in here. That's gonna look really nice. But here's a, let me give you a view. Master Villa. This is pretty much the same. Uh, other than the, the uh, hollow blocks. I don't think anything else has been done in here. This has been started. So we have a uh, fan, lights, tiles. This is a big bathroom. This is gonna be a, a monster bathroom. Got a little bit of ways to go. And I'm not so sure that the ceiling is done in here. It's hard for the guys to get everything right without the light, proper light in here. Uh, they will be able to finish that. So this will also be wood. This will all have uh, a beautiful wood planks going up it. It's gonna look really nice. TV will be here in the corner. So that works out really well to have that little wall there. And then you got a nice big king size bed here. So let's see, here's a little scan of the property. Looking good, it's looking really good. So on to the kids villa, this one is the most Prog has is the most progress on it. Let me check out over here what's going on. I need to check this out. Looks like they put another layer of uh, cement here. Okay, that's good. So. You have, um, once again, you have the hollow blocks. These two openings are the widest. That's why we had to put hollow blocks here to shorten the distance. So here is our first look at our, this will be our trim paint, and then you'll have summer white going underneath it. I like that color. Really nice. You're getting there. Oh, Neri still doesn't put any light bulbs in there. It's a little frustrating. But here's so here's the kids' bathroom. They did a good job with the grout. Probably should have put in a little bit more grout. Pretty happy with it. 
The shower would be nice and big. It's not as quite as big as the master, but it's bigger than the kitchen. And you can see the window is completely sealed up. Uh, not gonna have any issues with this window at all. Nice breeze. So we'll have lights in here. But this is the one that's gotten the most progress. You can see it's got the trim on the beam, and then it'll be summer white. And I think the ceiling might have its first coat of paint, I'm not really sure. I have to ask, but I really can't tell the difference between the primer and the, the flat white. It looks the same to me. This whole wall will be summer white. So we, I'm not sure if I want to extend the gray paint over to this section, or if I want to, I, for me, I'm, I'm thinking summer, the, the summer white will be this whole wall. But the other option is to extend this uh, gray paint over to this top section and then summer white on the bottom. But here's a look. I think it's gonna be really nice when it's done. This is the kids' villa. And there'll be, so there'll be bunk, not bunk beds, so it's hard to explain, um, but there'll be a set of stairs here in the middle. And then on the top of the stairs will be a platform where a bed here and a bed here, and then a, and then a full bed here and a full bed here. So you'll have uh, four beds in this room. You'll be able to sleep six people comfortably. So that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. This is the Sunday morning update. Just got back to Anda. And uh, I'll give you a little more details later on. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Have a good one, guys.